Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I've been working on this vid looper project to help a friend out with a project of his. And like I demonstrated, it plays different videos when you push the buttons. Here I was just simulating push buttons by shorting out the uh, pins. And it would play a different meme video for each pin that I shorted out. But come to find out, he's not going to be using physical switches. He wants to send a signal from an Arduino Uno to play one of four different videos. Yeah, you see here, I even had this cool little button console made up with the push buttons and everything just for testing purposes. But yeah, like I say, he wants to use digital pins on an Arduino. I did some searching and everything I saw was around using serial between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi, and I'm not rewriting the vid looper uh, program. It's not my program, and I'm not really a coder of that degree. So I have to figure out how to simulate button pushing, how to basically short those pins 26, 19, 13, and 6 to the ground pins. And I even made this rudimentary model with uh, using regular inexpensive relays, and it does work, but I want to present a much more professional package, so let's try out this relay module shield here. This is a pretty cool gadget. Here you see it out of the box. I got a couple of them. This voltage rating here, the 5 volts DC, you need that supplied here with the common ground to your inputs. So basically your inputs are 5 volts. And there's your DC plus and ground, and then your four inputs. So that's going to be attached to the digital pins two through five on my Arduino Uno. The other cool thing about this board, it's really flexible. On these uh, jumpers here, you can determine whether you're going to be relying on a high signal or a low signal to trigger the relays. And you can configure it independently for each of the inputs. There's also four LEDs that indicate when a signal's been transmitted and there's a power lead there. So on the relay side of things, each relay has a normally closed terminal and a normally open terminal. So th like I say, this incredible flexibility being able to switch things off and on. And what I like is that common pin for the relay they're all independent, so these outputs have no relation to each other whatsoever. I guess that's what they call opto-isolated. All right, let's check out the wiring here. Yeah, you just saw the LED flash there. So we have the four digital pins, two through five, on the Arduino hooked up. The five volt and the ground are hooked up to the input side. And on the Raspberry Pi side, we're hooked up to GPIO pins 26, 19, 13, and 6. And then the common pin is hooked up to the ground pins. I drew up this diagram here in the fritzing. You can see there's that common ground on the supply side. And then each of the individual digital pins corresponds through the relay to one of the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Yellow, orange, green through the relay to the GPIO pin. The blue fourth relay to the GPIO pin. And then each of their common pins is connected to a ground pin on the Raspberry Pi Zero. And that's the four relays. I wrote this simple sketch basically defining four digital pins, setting them low, and then the loop sets them each individually high with a 14 second delay in between. Let's look at it in action. There you hear the relay click. Yeah, you see here, it just triggered a video. There's the fourth pin, just triggered that video. There's the first pin triggering that video. And the second pin triggering that video. Okay, well, I hope you had a lot of fun. Please leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Arduino videos or Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.